All right, we just want to get our feet wet with this. We're going to start on, on the E-long pattern. As you know, the E-long pattern, here's your guitar fret nut, normal E-tuned. This is the C cage. Here's your D minor, E minor, A minor, your E and your G shape, fourth and fifth. We'll go over here from the C cage to the A cage to the G cage to the E cage. Okay, and my guitar, the E cage, is here. I don't know if it's that's where you you know, wouldn't be there if it was your cage. Yours would be on the E, the double dot. Mine's on the C because I'm down C tuned like this. Okay, so in any case. We'd start on the, we're going to start with a long pattern, but we're going to skip every other note to get this C minor 7th to a D minor 7th. We're going to go root 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6, root 3, just like that. So it's going to be, it's going to go root, root 3, 5, 7, then we go 2, 4, six play it as you see it root and three now those notes that we just played starting from lower root okay from lower c are these very notes c e g b d f a and upper c what did you notice about that? They're all note in between lines. So they're notes in between lines like that. Now you better believe it. And I, I, I said that and it didn't go over so well, but if you start it again, it's the flip side of the polarity. Okay, if you start it again like that, it's the flip side of the polarity. Uh, so let's look at that starting on lower C here oh, but actually no we went up two octaves so it's not the flip side of the polarity but this is way upper C here okay uh, you're getting way up here in the notes so it's not it, it, it every octave the the polarity of the situation if the note is in between lines or the note is is uh, got a line through it that changes only one octave that's my bad there so you could just repeat it from there, you know. Like that. We're almost going up every other note. If we continue on every other note uh, past another C major 7th and a D major 7th, then we have to share the root of the uh, share the seventh of the D major seventh as the root of the C major seventh. Okay, the winds are blowing. You know what that means, right? Branches falling or something like that, maybe power outage. Okay, so we've got to be ready for realities like that. Hopefully the wind will calm down uh, by uh, this afternoon. So now we're where we should be here. This is the, the guitar fret nut, normal E-tuned here. We're not concerned with the C box right here, so I just use that space to put root C guitar, the C box, and key of C notation. But here now we're looking at the G cage and the E cage. Now we're looking at short patterns. We're not doing the long pattern, okay? And I want to show you that it says it says right here G and E cages a good place to play staff written music because you have middle middle C MR middle root lower C LR lower root and upper C UR okay now here's middle root and notice that middle root is the root of the G string shape in addition to the root of the E string shape. Okay, so you know, G, G shape and E shape share that root. So we're looking here at this lower root here with the G and the E string shape. 
this root up here, we've got the E string shape. The G is down here. We're not concerned with it at that point. And then up here with this upper root, we have a G string shape where we're not concerned with the E string shape up there. But certainly in the in in uh, one instance, what down here, the bass line, we have both the G and the and the E string shape. So what, the span of this is down here on the staff. Now this is the bass clef. This is the treble clef. This is the middle C line. Okay. Six, seven root, we got G down here. Okay, so we've got A minor, A, not A minor, A, B, and C in the key of C, lower C. So A, B, and C. Okay, then we kind of travel up here. Here's our seven root two. All right. And then we can travel up to upper C. Now, these lines are left over from the, the, um, this particular box that gives us from middle C. It gives us C minor 7th going this way. Okay. Here's. Uh, C minor 7th. Major 7th, rather. Sorry. There's C major 7th. And D minor 7th going down from middle C. We're going to share that C. Now we're on line, line through. Actually, the whole thing was line through. So that's what that, that orange line is about. Okay. So again, some of this stuff is a little more obvious, but then it becomes obscure because it's so obvious what we're talking about here. This is, this is just a consideration for the long G pattern area of middle C, where here we got the same, same situation. We're looking at the G cage and the E cage, but if we play the long G pattern, okay, this is just isolated, an isolated piece of the fretboard it isn't connected to this one. It's just pretty much the same thing, but starting the long G pattern, you start on a, a G string shape, you go to a G string shape, then you go into the long pattern, five, six, seven, root two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is the long G pattern area of middle C, so we can do that too. All right, you can, you can use that also if you have a capo right here on that A. You know, and then your middle middle root would be there. It's a good place to read music. But let's go let's go back right here to the um, let's just look at the the two short patterns, the double the double E cage, right? G to E cage, cage C A G E D, going to the right in cage letters. It's a good place to read music because this is your staff here. Okay. This is your staff. This is this is the entire uh, bass clef, middle C, and then uh, middle C, and then we have seven root two right there for middle uh, for the E string shape in the in between the two clefs, and then we go right here again to um, the entire treble clef up here, and then it also includes that other note. Okay, so here's seven root two on the treble clef. That is the entire uh, treble clef. This this line up here is is involved with uh, notes above the treble clef. So it's a good place. You see, if you see music written like this, it's a good thing to start on the G cage. So how do you do the G cage? Well, you do it in the key of C, because we're talking about the key of C. So here's your C. Okay, then we go to the A cage. And here's our D, a G cage. It's pretty much your A minor pentatonic. stop me anywhere anyway um this is your g cage and it plays right into the e cage 